Hi there, my name is Alexa Life, and in this video I would like to show a quick demonstration of how Chrome VM native image supports serialization of Java objects. This is a recently added feature to Graal VM 21.0 and before it was not possible. Currently native image requires explicit configuration for the serialization, but all in all uh, it works pretty smoothly. Let's see it on a sample application. So I have here a sample application and let's look at that. It's an application that generates Fibonacci numbers and then it, the main method here runs through the stream of Fibonacci uh, up to the thousand numbers and then it writes them out into the output stream and then it deserializes them into the, uh, into the another object and then we ask whether those objects are equal and then we just print the first uh, 10 to just see that it actually the numbers uh, right so a very simple program and we can run this of course we can compile this with our java c and we can run this with our java and it does print true and it does print the numbers now the native image serialization requires explicit configuration. That means that we need to provide the JSON file that will show which classes we do would like we would like to support into the native image executable and support for those classes to be serialized and deserialized. This is actually a very sane approach and it's a very useful uh, useful thing to have because you have to explicitly allow classes to be deserialized. That means a certain number of vulnerabilities that include deserializing classes, random objects, uh, the risk of those is highly reduced, as the, as we say in the industry. Uh, in the industry, so what we need to do here is we need to create the directories, and I'm going to show you a neat trick, uh, as well. Uh, meta inf native image. I'm going to create the directory called config meta inf native image and we're going to use that directory to keep the configuration. Now the configuration I of course would generate uh, with the with the assisted configuration Java agent. Right, So I will run my Java application with the Java agent and I will tell it to output the configuration into this directory that we just created. I need to execute the code pass that actually well, touch the code that will serialize and deserialize data, but I can do that. And now if we look into the directory that we create, uh, native image, there is a serialization config JSON file, and that lists the long, the number, and the read list, the three classes that are a part of the serialized, deserialized data that we're gonna run. If I would create this file manually, I would probably forgot, forget to list the number uh, and the, the, the build would fail. So Java agent is actually a very uh, reasonable approach to generate the config. Now we need to build the native image and we do that very straightforwardly. But here's the trick. We pass the class pass and we say that the config directory and the current directory will sit both on the class pass. So this is actually a very neat trick because our configuration sits in the config directory and the configuration under on the class pass under the meta inf native image directory is picked up automatically by the build. So if we put the config on the class pass, then it will automatically uh, make sure that our config meta inf native image configuration files will be used in during the build process. The same trick you can use if you compile the jar file as well. So you can just specify the class pass and specify the folder where you generated the configuration on the command line. So this is a neat trick that uh, I use specifically when I need to generate native image out of jar files and the configuration is not embedded in those, but is provided from the outside. So now our application should be almost ready and in a second, it should just finish the compiling part of the native image build and write it out. Now we have the main uh, executable here and what I can do, I can do main, I can just run it 
and it will output the same thing that our Java program output. Uh, it says true, so our original stream of Fibonacci numbers is equal to the deserialized stream, and of course the numbers are the same. So uh, this is how you can use serialization in the GraalVim native image. I hope you like this neat trick with the config directory on the class pass, and see you tomorrow for a new video.